This is a really good question because the subject of flails is really complicated. There are generally two different weapons that are called flails. This one is a farming instrument. And it's well documented that oppressed peoples have often picked up these farming implements because they're abundant and use them to fight against their oppressors. There's a fighting manual styled around it, and it's also been seen in the hands of people like the Mongols as a cavalry weapon. But if you're anything like me and your first exposure to weapons was the D&D weapons catalog, then you're more familiar with these as flails. And many videos have criticized how these would just be bad weapons, because they're purely offensive and you can't really control them well. And that's led to some historians saying that these didn't even exist as weapons. There are a few examples in museums, however, these historians think that those were just either copies, forgeries, or just rich people toys. There is some European artwork that features them, however, this is from an exaggerated tale of Marco Polo. So not exactly the best source of historical information. This picture is from a European fighting manual, but the manual also features stuff like this, which not exactly the most practical weapons and I don't think this ever saw combat. So that's led to some historians saying that they didn't even exist as weapons. However, it's pretty well documented that there are these types of things in China, Japan, Russia, a lot of Asia. So this seems like another case of historians saying that since something didn't exist in Europe, it didn't exist at all, which is just not true.